What's up, scale model enthusiasts? Welcome back to another video. This is 65 Lokes making this video for scale riders. This is Lowrider Bicycle Magazine, Volume 3, Summer of 94, still at 395. In here, as you can see, it features Felix the Cat and also some uh, tips as how to bundle your bike, install model hydraulics. The, this is one of those covers uh, that's very iconic. A lot of people remember this. I was having a conversation with one of my homies, Javier, and he was always like, dude, I remember that cover where one of those dudes is wearing a Felix the Cat hat, and this is it. And it was just so funny that we were talking about that because I was telling him uh, that's actually the next magazine I'm going to be doing a preview on. I want to also shout out Juan Amesqua who came through because I do not own this issue here. Uh, this is one of those ones that's missing from my collection and he was nice enough to let me borrow this issue in order for me to do this preview for scale riders and for you guys so let's go right ahead and open this up as you can see we're at the table of contents we're showing some nice loiter bikes from a bike club out in hawaii there's all the different um, sections articles covering the bicycle features, the shows, uh, technical, the scene, and departments. Here we have some more guys showing off their bikes. And, of course, a letter from the editor, which is Nathan Trujillo. I will sc scroll through this really slowly. You can always pause it and read it in case if you do not own this issue. But I want to read the words of Nathan Trujillo, editor of the magazine. And as you can see here, this is the, the team and staff that made this all possible. Shout out to them, of course. I'm just gonna flip through these pages. Well, the first section kind of fast because I know you guys wanna get to the model cars, but I know out there, there's viewers that do love the low water bikes as well. And Check this out right here. Some custom work on your lowrider bike. And here's some coverage from a show. And one of the things that I was tripping out when I was looking at this magazine is I uh, started to notice this right here. Started using phones on the cars. This always tripped me out right there. Because there, there's more um, Bikes like that in this magazine that are, they have the uh, the phones installed in there. You know, but yeah, it's a first half obviously is uh, featuring the low rider bicycles and the, uh, oh, check that out. Remember those shirts? The Bugs Bunny and Taz. I used to have that shirt right there. Wait, rocking that Chris Cross look, the backwards clothes. Oh, here we go. You see, look, check that out. You got the phones right there, this other bike. See, so you got one right here chilling right there. It's really neat. I even like this right here, the, the television on the bike. This is the 90s right here. So, ooh, check that out. Volume one, two, and there's three. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip on forward. This is a Felix the Cat bicycle. We still have the poster in the center intact. So I'm going to carefully move this over without damaging it. But here you see the overall look of the bike. It looks pretty cool, nice and low. And now let's get right into it. So here we have the model car hydraulics how-to, part one. Check that out right there. You got the A, B, a C, and a D, E. And it just keeps on going, showcasing how to do hydraulics. I thought it was really neat right here. It even tells you like your parts list. So, you know, you could always cut that out or take it with you to the store and like a little checklist. So you make sure you get all your tools. So these were very helpful, helpful articles at the time. Especially if you lived in an area where there was just nobody building around you. You couldn't attend shows. You could definitely pick up this magazine and read up all of above it. All right, so right here we have paint enamel removal. Quick and easy paint stripping for your model car. So this here, we're getting a tutorial 
from City Style Model Car Club from Sacramento, California. And um, it's just kind of going down the list of uh, removing paint and bringing that car back to life. Let's go right ahead and check this out right here. It's another uh, tutorial. And this here looks like they're using the uh, Easy Off Oven Cleaner. I know a lot of people these days are using that purple power, but you might want to try this if you're rocking the, uh, if you're trying to get some enamel paint off. Some more uh, solicitations here. This one always tripped me out. I was always like, what is she doing in her window looking out like that? But, and I had that as a kid, volume two and one. I still have volume one on CD somewhere. So here we are. One of the features here is none other than Armando Flores. Young, how old is he here? 32 years old? Let's see, yes, here we go. Um, 32 year old Armando Mondo Flores of Lake Los Angeles, California. And here we have his Hopper 64. It's a really nice photo there. Here we have some artwork on the trunk really cool article you could always pause this and and read up all up on it check that car out right there really nice let's get a little closer to that and um, right over here we have 24k topless and this uh, this was autographed by Armando obviously this is um, Juan Amesco's magazine, and when I was over there, he actually showed me this car. He owns this car now. He got it from Armando. It was really cool to see the car in person, and i um, pretty sure Juan's like, dude, sign my magazine. So that's pretty rad. And from the looks of this, uh, from what I've heard, is uh, this is where Masterpieces, the car club name, came about. In here, as it states, Mondo's Masterpieces, uh, and this is uh, photos by Nathan Trujillo. And this was something that Nathan, um, he pretty much birthed that name right there for him. And it's still going on till now. Next article, we have Fuzzy Fur Upholstery, another how-to. Text and photos by Nathan Trujillo. And here they're using Elmer's glue. So lay that down. The fuzzy fur is sprinkled. And there you got that two-tone. So right, right over here goes more in depth in there with it. It's crazy, man. They still sell this stuff to this day. Is Ken's, uh, is he actually an actual person or is that like made up? I'm not sure. But if you guys know, please let me know. Here we have... Carson Carshall. Many of the Carshalls that were going down in California. And here we have a young modeler hitting those switches. That looks really cool right there. I wonder if he's still building or keeping up with the times with what's going on in the model car world. Here's some more cars. Over here on the second page, finally get some color, showcasing some more cars from the event. 64 Impala, Corvette. Ooh, that looks cool right there. Ooh, let me get a nice, uh, this light's right here getting in the way. That looks pretty cool right there. Real of this shot right here. That nice reflection from the mirror right there it looks really cool. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to flip back because I did skip a page. Sorry. Check that out. Very sorry about that because we from the fuzzy fur. Skipped it over. Check this out. The Compton Hop. So this here took place in Compton, California. Morris Models in Compton. And I read something very uh you know, reading this article now, it's really interesting how um, 
what they say, you know, uh, Tiara Morris in here, as you can see, uh, she, she notices that kids were building model cars, completing them. And then at some point it says here and getting bored. So this is what pretty much gave her the idea of like, you know what? I want to hold some model car shows in my shop. So this way to motivate the kids and get them in here. And I thought that was really cool of her to, uh, to do that. Here we have uh, the competitors, the winners list. This car is going pretty high up. We have some more hoppers. This is, this is such a cool shot right here. And uh, man, I wish this shop was still around. You know, I wonder if you call that number now, if somebody would pick up on the other end. So we already saw this page here. Let's flip over to the next one. We have uh, Lowrider World Tour 94. And going back in time. Now we're traveling all the way to Texas. Lone Star Lowriders. These guys right here building all these model cars during their lunch break. I was tripping out on that. I was thinking about my work too when I'm at work. You know, what if uh, that's the only time I have? See, it took a lot of lunch breaks to build these beauties. Nathan Trujillo making his way all the way to Houston, Texas. I'll leave this right here so you guys can read it. Pause it. Nice setup. Let's get a close up of the cars again. Got all those controls back there. Nice. Now we're traveling all the way to Long Beach, 1994 model car show. Check out that line up there. All the cars parked in formation. Some nice show coverage. Definitely wish it was in color, but just knowing about the budgets and the magazine, you know, we're lucky enough just to be getting this magazine back at that time. But it was really cool that they took that risk and gave birth to this magazine. Here we have the top trophy winners. Some art. Battle of the Titans. Two hoppers are better than one. And this is from Vincent Martinez in San Jose, California. Get a close up look to his cars here. Got that truck. A nice 64. And now we start to end it with the street cruisers. <laughs> and um, final pages of snapshots here. Let's get closer, close look at these cars here, all the way from San Jose. Got the low water bikes as well. Some more model cars. These are all photos that were submitted. Whoa, check that out, huge wheels. And then one of the final pages here, we have their iconic half page spreads that many of us would cut out, frame, or just tape up on, against our walls. One of those masterpieces, a 64 and a 63 Impala. Solicitations, and that's the, the end of the magazine here. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned. Volume 4 coming soon. This is 65 Lokes checking out. Peace.